Hello YouTube that certainly isn't filled with nerds, welcome back to the Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin with me Blake. We're at the start of what was the first DLC in the order in which they were released. Gia's gonna kind of gauge how much damage the enemies do to me, how much damage I do to them, and decide whether or not it's something I want to pursue. Or, pursuer. Oh, and right in that very moment, I just remembered that this has the blue smelter demon. And I felt this weird, like, scrunching in my stomach that for once wasn't IBS related. And then this weird sickness in my chest. And then I threw up a little in my mouth. Oh, I hit the switch. <laughs> On the plus side, I did get rid of the archer. Inadvertently. They didn't touch the DLCs as far as adding a billion more enemies, though, did you? Because I was just looking over there and I was like, six enemies? That doesn't seem right. Glomp you and they'll see your YouTube. What's this? See, Kenzie gets the old memes. Rather worryingly. Hey, the guy who's not a melee person, or a ranged person, come over here and talk to my greatsword. Did I say greatsword? I meant ultra greatsword. Come on, you can do it. You have it in you. Yeah, I can one-shot with a jumping R2. Well, of course I can, because it's jumping R2. <laughs> I didn't realise one of them got knocked off. Hello, friendo. Notice he's your mace. Come down here and play with me. Sorry, I didn't mean to slap you. I meant to attack you with extreme aggression. I remember burning through life gems in this DLC's DLC just because there's so many things that just hurt you and they have unlimited friggin' poise. Did me and Zaki come back on board to handle the DLC? That sounds like regret. Is that what a human emotion feels like? Ugh. How do you cope with them? I got one of the life gems back. There was items up there and you're supposed to stand on it, but whatever. I see you patrolling. Oh, there's an item down there too. I'm debating where I want to drop down, because no matter where I drop down, it's going to hurt. And there's an enemy below here, I believe. Yep. Thankfully, it hurt him more. What is the deal with the little red bugs? What is it? What horrible thing is it that they do to you? Is it gear breaking, or curse, or petrify, or... They do something real bad. I just don't remember what it is. Thank you for the little bits. Leo Hopeful. I hear them skittering. Ooh, longbow plus 7A. Eh? No, not 7T. I said 7A. Durability. Mm. Just constantly in certain mm. noises. Sancho Bob stepping on that mm. rake over and over. Mm. I do this not because oh. I think I'll enjoy it, but because I only did it the once. And thank you for the proper bits at the end. The DLC is your favourite place in all the Dark Souls games. Are you ill? Don't get me wrong, I don't hate the look of the area. It's just... There's so much better looking areas than this. I remember there being some kind of shortcut over there where you can jump over to that bit, but I don't remember why. I hear you skittering. I, I don't know if I want to break these open or ignore them. Okay, they don't spray out anything, but I believe their eggs do if you pop them. Also gross. Oh, it spawns them. I see. I think that's a shortcut that opens. Stay down, man. Stay down. Yeah, 
here. They're going to keep on spawning if I don't kill the eggs. But I don't want to kill the eggs. Because of what lies within. Listen to the noise they're making. That was just a test swing. Everyone's allowed one test swing. It wasn't really a test swing. I missed. Oh, I just remembered the little walking turrets. God, it must be nice having unrealistically high amounts of poise. I remember when I had that in Dark Souls 1, when I had Havels on. That was the only time. What does that change? Ah, let's me get to the archer. Poisons for NPCs only. Well, that's definitely true of Dark Souls 3. Because they forgot to switch it on. Thank you, Blake Quinn. IP the frog. I'm glad to hear that because otherwise he would do things. You don't want him to do things. I saw him do things once. Didn't end well. Oh yeah, there's items around that because it's to make you be like, Oh, that's suspicious. It's not his fault he's shooting poison everywhere. Poison me, I don't care. Just give me that. Item. 20 throwing knives. So hang on, from there, I didn't hit the switch up there, did I? Because this one is all about puzzles. That's why you get the puzzle sword that turns into a whip. So for this DLC in particular, I'm just thinking to myself, what are the bosses in it? Sin, the dragon, which is not a fun fight. Blue Smelter Demon, which is nightmare fuel. Uh, oh, there's the lady in the painting. Or, yeah, she can summon... What's his name? Is that the only other boss in this DLC? Because I'm just thinking, I don't particularly care about fighting any of those bosses again. Especially not Blue Smelter Demon. I hear them all in there and I don't want to run in because I, I don't know where I'll be going. I hear them skittering. Yeah, Blue Smelter is the optional one that you could bring in people who didn't have the DLC to help you fight. That I remember for sure. Oh, the trio of NPCs! That's also terrible, yeah. And, no wait, no, maybe they're the ones that you can do cooperatively with people who didn't have the DLC. Yeah, Nishandra and Recycled, not Recycled. Alright, I've managed to convince myself that there is nothing of interest to me in this particular DLC, so let's go to one of the other ones. Let's see, what are the bosses in the snow one? Tigers, double tigers, alone, and... Who else? Because alone is the optional one. Oh, and Fume Knight? Ugh. And I think you have to kill Fume Knight to get to alone. Bye, True Fate! Ivory King. Oh, yeah, I remember Ivory King. Thank you, Ratava611, for five months in a row! See, I really like the alone fight, but it's you've got so many hoops to jump through to get to it. I am wanting the... The forest I'm always overlooking. <clears throat> no, it wasn't triple tigers. One, like the tiger you, that's invisible, you have to make visible, and then the optional fight was against two of them after you run through the snowfield with the reindeer. Which way? Well, that's all we need to keep. It's this way I want. You walk funny. Thank goodness that arrow hit me in the heart and nothing of value was lost. Yes, this is the moment I'm realising I don't want to do any of the DLCs. I'm getting the snow one and the old iron keep one confused, I think. Or the ash one, rather. Because alone is in the ash one. And I think Fume Knight is as well. So what other bosses in the snow one that I'm forgetting? Because you kill the tiger, then you go into like a church thingy. 
and then you fight someone in there, don't you? How would you look at that? The storm cleared. It's almost as if I have the key to get in the door or something. Ivory King. Oh, you go into the church and then you drop down to hell and that's where you fight him. And then the Ice Knights help you out. Yeah, I remember that fight now. And you need to find the knights because otherwise the fight is very difficult. Because they freeze the door to stop him summoning allies or something. Yeah, all the DLC is coming back to me. Dark Souls 2 really kind of shut the bed when it came to DLCs, huh? Liam Moise. Turn back. The old chaos hungers still. I disagree. It'd be it'd be more fun to get to if they like didn't have unlimited poise and do too much damage and were scaled properly with the rest of the game, but they aren't. I also don't remember if you have to die to the tiger once just to learn that you can't see it. Because the book you need is down there. But then you've got to work out. If I had cat ring, could I survive that fall? Because that looks survivable to me. With cat ring. Thank you, Exponjuck, for the bits and for filling the bin. I'm going to try and fall there because I feel like that shouldn't be fail. Ah, oh, it must be like barely, because that's not that far a drop. That must be pixel perfect for it to still kill you if you have cat ring on. Although maybe I've had a bunch more HP. Cat ring there. If you're thirsty, may you drink bits from the bin? Sure. I'm feeling like I just kind of want to go kill Nishandra. Because I feel like I'm just not going to enjoy the DLCs because they're not very good. And I really enjoyed playing through the base game of Dark Souls 2 again. It still holds up. Although Skull of the First Sin isn't as good as just the base game as far as pacing goes. I don't know what they were thinking when they were like, let's just add 50 more invasions, 50 more summons, and a bunch more enemies in all the bad areas of the game. Uh, just so they could have stuff listed as things that were different, I suppose. I am pleased with how much damage we're doing, but they, they still have too much poise. That's how you get to the coffin that takes you to the unicorns, right? Oh, the little knife ladies who act innocent but then try to stab you in the back. Yeah, I remember you. I see you charged through the uh, tunnel there while I was killing the poor innocent thing. Kill the cat without the eye. Too annoying to kill an enemy I can't see. Speaking of which, isn't there an invisible enemy down here? Pretty sure there's a knight on this path somewhere. And I was just going to say, I remember there being doggles, and there they are. Bear with me one second, just equipping many, many throwing knives. So I can just go, ha ha! No, that's my Estus! <laughs> Take two! Huh, it's very damaging. I like that the one I hit is the one that's not attacking me. Because <laughs> it took the direct route, and the direct route is wrong. That's a cute dress, thank you! What about his face? If you say it's cute, then you're saying Elon Musk is cute, and he's got a weird-ass face. Wing spear plus seven. 
God, did they make you do this whole area? Because I remember this part. It's with the frozen fountain and stuff. You really have to go around here to get to that, or did I miss an alternative path? No, you do have to go around. Okay. If I die, I'm just going to Nishandra. I'm seeing how far I can get, and if I can fight the tigers, then fine, I'll do the tiger. Tiger. If I call Elon Musk cute, do I get money? Uh, I think you have to do more than that to get money out of him. That's usually how the trade works. I can't see shit, Captain. What one of my characters did I do the DLCs as? It was my mage, right? I seem to remember it being my mage, because there was like a dark version of the Soul Great Sword, and I thought it was awesome, and then it turned out to be bad. Let's add more enemies. I didn't mean to slap you, I'm sorry. I was just trying to kill you. Did not expect that to get past that. Get him to order expensive drinks at his club. Is that a Yakuza reference? Thank you for the little bits. Oh, the little bits don't often boom the bin. I'm not trying to solicit anything, it's just a statement of fact. The higher bit amount thingies have more weight, in a literal sense. Huh, didn't finish off. Oh, this is the DLC where you get the karate hand as well, right? Like the Hadouken fighting style hand? Because I was just looking over there and I think it's over in that direction, but you can't get it yet. Remember when spells had tracking? I don't remember if I have to go this way to get to the eye or the other way. You do like your magic spells, don't you? And the ones with the big icicles on their back you can't backstab. Fill then. I'm happy with you filling it. Which is a thing I don't want taken out of context. I remember this corridor being bad, but I don't have context. Bonfire? No, sconce. Siege got boring, and it's still filled with too many hackers and is not balanced at all, so we got bored playing it. New Operators doesn't fix the problems it has. So there's not any chance of it coming back. I've, I've uninstalled it long ago. What the hell was that? Hell. Oh, you have a special kind. I remember you. Yeah, you use ice weapons. That's the one. Not so tough. This is also not the right way. Oh, and you can't open the chest until you stop the snow. So I just cleared all this for no reason. Thank you, Blake Quinn. There you go. That'll boom some bits in the booty. Has it happened yet? Did it fall in? Yeah, bug fixes aren't balance or anti-cheat, though, which are the two things it needs. Oh, 
dogs as well, Christ. By all means, come at me down this incredibly thin corridor while I do an attack, which is very forward facing. Nothing will possibly go wrong for you. They made that a lot easier than I deserved there. Hold the Mad Lagger. Ooh, Ice Rapier. We might end up using that in Dark Souls 3. Oh, that's not a rapier, the ice weapon you can get off the first ice thingy, is it? It's a long sword. I think you just walk out the door and immediately get attacked. Um, burn? I like that that kind of just him blocking that. You know, that attack where I hit him dead center without his shield being anywhere near it? Yeah, he blocked that. I see you, knife ladies. No knife ladies, bad knife ladying. I'll get to you in a second. We get rid of the riffraff first. Just takes the head and ignores it. There's a bonfire here, isn't there? Somewhere? Torch friend? I feel like there is a bonfire, I just don't quite remember where it is. There's a path through to the door there. Ah, the bonfire is here, but if I drop down is that too far? No, it must be progress. Have enough for a level. I do, but at the same time. See, he can get his poise broken, yet normal enemies can't. I killed Torch Friends. I killed a torch friend. I didn't kill the torch friend. I swing faster than that. Sorry, it was you or me. You fight me down here. It is an impressive attack, I'll give you that. He poked his head around the corner. Or he shot through the corner, I'm not sure which, because... Oh, there he is. Ah, I can't get up to them. Do they activate when I come over here? Are you having an argument of the little bits? But thank you, Jaweb. Thank you, Serenity. Oh, I see. You're filling it back up again. It's a metaphor for life if you don't think about it too hard. You're a tough one. You, I remember being tough. But you can be backstabbed, so never mind. <clears throat> Isn't this a bit where, like, the floor is all holy? Please let me build a better electric car. Do I own Warhammer 40k Space Marine? Yes, I do. Yeah, it's the one I played on stream like however long ago. They are all guarding the way. That's where you go to get to the unicorn place. You sit in the grave and it slides down the hill. 
but you can't open the door yet. And in here is a bunch of frozen chests and almost all of them are mimics. Maybe literally all of them, I'm not sure. Oh, there's that, you know, there's that mimic that froze mid-transformation, but I think, I don't remember the rest of them are. I'm not going down the hill because I don't have the key. I think you have to kill, you kill a certain boss before you can open that door, I believe. Oh, they're not friendly. Um, <laughs> I would like my, my promise backstab, please. That's not a very dignified pose you've died in. Ah, okay, I feel better. The Invisible Knight is up here. Yeah, there's all this shit in the way to warn you. But you ignore that to go over here, I think. Yeah, I distinctly remember that, but... Another frozen chest. That was a bad camera angle, or it was the best camera angle. Have you thought about that? So this was not the way to the coffin that I was thinking of, unless it's a shortcut. Twitter binging at me. Yeah, Twitter binging at me. to her. And that one hurt. The throw did. Goodbye. And might I add BH? Not how poise works. Is it down here I want or is it up there? I think up there might be another shortcut back to the first bonfire, so let me just do that first. Like a ladder you can knock down or they're memories from like 2015, so they're a bit iffy. Hello Ty. Oh no, there's a bit where you can climb the wall. I don't remember why you want to do that, though. <laughs> Bad doubles. <clears throat> How are we doing for time? Thank you, Bog Chu, for 23 months in a row with Twitch Prime. Is it bad that at the age of 33 I still laugh at fart jokes? No. In fact, I think the older you get, especially if you're a father, you're allowed to laugh at them more. Which is pretty impressive. So, like, kind of after 40, the magnitude of how much you laugh at fart jokes can go back up to, like, comparable to when you were 10, let's say. Is up here? No, up here is not going to take me where I want to go. I I am curious what you get up there because I don't remember. Pull your finger. I don't see any downside. Uh, I hope 
was supposed to drop down there because that was a one-way trip. It feels like this has put me at the right level. Yeah. Turn away. No. And never look back. But there is an now invisible knight here somewhere. if he drops anything. Possibly his halberd daily or it's like a mini Smo's hammer. Oscar, what are you doing man? Dropped nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Ten minutes. Well I can at least take one stab at the tigers. Is this going to take me back around to the... This isn't the boss, because the boss is up top, right? I'll stay on the feather just in case. Oh! Oh, this is the the bonfire that goes down to the, the pits or something, right? Uh, I'll quickly go back, level up. Give the tiger a shot. I don't remember if there's a summon for it or not. I'll just give it a go. I don't really remember it very well. And then I guess I'll just quickly go f kill the Chandra so that next time we play Dark Souls we can start Dark Souls 3. If you want to see me kill all the bosses and all the DLCs you just need to go back to the playlists for each of them from however many years ago. We did all of them, even the really bad ones. Forget to murder Seek Seek Less. I'm not killing the Emerald Herald. I'm tempted to kill Ladderman just so it's canonically correct with Dark Souls 3 that he is dead. Although it's funnier to think he just fell off his own ladder of his own accord because he's a dumbass. Where is Ice Place? The Emerald Herald respawns. She doesn't stay dead. <clears throat> Wait, no, maybe she does re doesn't respawn because she's one of the assassination targets if you do the assassin quest. What was that I just saw? Oh! Masterless Glen Kerr for old time's sake! Is that some insane always there or does it only appear once you have the eye? Who has a switch here? Five people. Like I say, numbers are thin on the ground for doing the multiplayer side of Generations Element. And who is this? Shut up, lady. Shut up, lady. Oh, the Punching Man! Steelheart Ellie, who is a staple in all the DLCs, but not the main game. Also, by Punching Man, I mean Punching Woman. But, whatever. I hear a roaring. Oh, there we go, one of our many lurkers has one. You're all welcome to join even if you don't talk when I play Generations Out before the records. If you've got a G rank character, all I ask is that you scale your gear down. Because I don't want it too easy. Ah, oh, just that goes through all your block, huh? I'm sorry, I thought a 100% block shield would be enough, but apparently not. I'm having flashbacks of not this fight, but the fight against the two of them. And how terrible it is. Did I not end up doing that one solo? Because I remember running around for ages just getting a hit every five minutes. Yeah, having my health in one basic attack is not a balanced fight at all for the character level I am. <laughs> 
scared me there. I thought the tiger was doing some kind of fire version of that. Wait, that is his attack? <laughs> Doesn't make any damn sense. Hmm, that's weird. That time it didn't take all my stamina. And hit through my block. gives no shits. He's getting in there. Burn them. Burn the tiger but sometimes does fire attacks for no apparent reason. When Kura healed. I didn't remember he had that Nova, I just instinctively jumped backwards. I'm not doing enough damage for how long it takes me to swing at him. I think it takes more damage if you hit him in the head, though. Goodbye. Flick is a cat toy. <laughs> There's a bonfire in here, right? That looks like the NPC that runs the Cooperative Covenant in Bloodborne. It doesn't wear a robe, but the helmet and the staff is the same. Does not open from this side. Does not open from this side. At this point, you can just go fight the boss, right? It's just you basically have an impossible task because you have none of the knights to help you. Or is it literally impossible to kill the boss without the knights? Because he'll just keep on living. Either way, because we're nearing swap over time, I'd like to just get the game done. So we'll go kill Nishandra. And then we have to fight the Scholar, who I've only done once, and I don't really remember other than it being kind of annoying. There are... Although maybe if I walk away I don't have to fight the Scholar. on the bar and I want bar. You it sounds like you're getting an audio glitch real cuff. I repeat myself sometimes but not as much as you seem to be implying I am. <clears throat> Hello Brain folks. Thought you were getting a new king, but it was actually a queen. My journey is already complete. My name is Shannon. The dragon gave me this name, for I was born with none. I was born of dragons, contrived by men. By ones who would cousin fate herself, 
They are the ones who created me. But they failed. I did not come out as a It's okay, if Monster Hunter doesn't win, we can do Yakuza Monster Hunter Fate tomorrow. Quiet Friday, so it doesn't really matter what I play. And men were cursed once again. If you proceed, the Chandra will come after you. Knowing that you will take the throne and link the fire. She covets the first flame and the great soul. Put Nishandra to rest. Ten four, good buddy. I want a throne. Hello, Hawkband. It's been a kind of crappy day, honestly, because my IBS has been acting up again, but I'm trying not to draw attention to it or whinge about it. Just been a couple of uncomfortable days, let's put it that way, the grisly details. <laughs> Throne of mine, mine, mine! And we are indeed taking Vingarl and Bengarl. Boy, what do you mean, Ben Hart? Bengarl would be better. Oh, Nishandra, you look lovely. Is that a scythe or are you just happy to see me? Oh, it's a scythe. Grave undead. You have proven yourself. Yeah, Mrs. Neil. Her design is cool, but the fight itself is a bit lackluster. It's got a vagina on her stomach. It's cool. There's no way to avoid getting cursed in the first phase, essentially. Is that a Nova? That is a Nova, right? Yeah. Don't knock them both off. Oh god, she almost did. Although they don't stay for the Scholar fight anyway, annoyingly, because it's not programmed like that. If you do Throne Watcher and Throne Defender first, they stay, which is a little strange. Unless they change it so they do it? No, they leave. Save the throne. Or can I still do the walk away ending? Because the walk away ending was the one they added. No, you can't do that yet. I think you still have to... Well, you can, but you have to fight the scholar first. Or not? Did I do something wrong to not have to fight the scholar? <clears throat> Maybe only fight the, the scholar if you've killed Vendrit. You. I don't think you need to do the, the DLCs because I didn't do the you DLCs when I played Scholar the first sin for the first time. At least I don't Once think I did. Fire is linked, souls will flourish <clears throat> We're definitely not fighting him because it happens this before this. 
It is your choice to embrace or renounce this. <clears throat> that means you can't do the walk away ending either. Oh, maybe you do need all the crowns. I could have sworn I didn't do the DLCs again when I first did Skull of the First Sin. Because they came out separately from that first, didn't they? I was sure I only did them once. No, either way, we're going to get a badass shot of me sitting in my dress, facing camera in my throne. Take your throne. Control yourself, chat. Your blood pressure may rise severely in a second. Basic instinct moment. The lips of judgment. What lies ahead, only you can see. Spread legs. Hey, you're just lucky I deliberately made myself human before the ending. Because that could have been a hollow crotch. If I remember rightly, you also can't fast forward Dark Souls 2 credits. They might change that in Scholar. Be still my heart. You can't fast forward them. Well, for the YouTube side, next time we'll be starting Dark Souls 3, so I'm going to be doing a Twitter poll to pick what build I'm going to go with. I'll give a few options. Thank you for watching Dark Souls 2, though, and we'll see you for the finale. Until then, start for now.